I'll try to roll with the baseball analogy you used earlier. The FHA loan would be like if you're a collegiate baseball player and you get drafted to play in the minor leagues. That's awesome, right? Like that's great. And I have several friends who did that and that's incredible. I have one friend who got drafted straight out of college to pitch in the major leagues. So the playing in the minor leagues is great until you compare yourself with the one guy who made it into the major league. So the FHA loan is an awesome option. Like I can't really, I mean, I say it was a mistake and honestly it probably cost me 10 grand comparatively, but it's still way better than a lot of other options. The biggest downfall to the FHA loan is the private mortgage insurance that you have to pay because you're paying under 20% down. And so you pay this PMI, which is, yeah, I don't want to spit the numbers, but it's like around one or two percent of the total loan amount, depending on some variables. So for me personally, on my duplex, it's like eighty-one dollars a month, not that bad. But that's eighty-one dollars a month that doesn't go towards principal, but I have to pay anyway. Whereas the VA loan doesn't have that because the twenty percent that you would pay down is backed by the Department of Veteran Affairs, the Fed. So there's no PMI. So I mean, right there, your payment probably ends up being less, even though you put zero down. Because I mean realistically zero down vice three and a half percent down unless you're buying a 10 million dollar property the down payment's not a huge difference on your principal and interest but the va loan is offered for active duty veterans uh you know service members there, there's a couple different criteria there but essentially what it does is it allows you to purchase a real uh, a property a primary residence for zero down and to, now that in january they actually removed the limit like the max that you can take out with this loan for your first purchase. After that, there's still some limits and variables. Uh, but I mean, that's crazy. So, crazy. so the VA loan is awesome if, you, if you're eligible and you buy the right property. Uh, it has to be a primary residence. You have to intend to live in it for a year. There's a whole bunch of stipulations. Uh, honestly, if you want, I can give you the link. I have like a 5,000 word article on it because there's just so much stuff people don't understand. Yeah, that'd be um, awesome. I can post it on the show links for people that are interested. I appreciate that. Yeah. So we won't talk all day about that. There's some nuances, but if you compare them apples to apples, uh, the VA loan definitely wins in I'd say 90% of the categories over the FHA, but they're both better than a conventional mortgage. So 